Hey guys. Morning. Okay, it's not morning. It's morning for me. How's it going everyone? Um, Shane here and uh, today we're going to take a look at the uh, firebox stove, wherever I put it, <laughs> right here next to me. And uh, the billy pot. I was actually just kind of fooling around with this a little bit. Um, got into a conversation with my buddy Nate and we were talking about cooking rice on the uh, on the stove, cooking it in a billy pot. So I'm gonna show you guys how I do it. It's pretty simple. Um, my wife is is Asian, so if I really messed up rice in the woods, my kids would probably never forgive me, and then it would come home, and uh, they would make fun of me. But we're gonna use the uh, Billy billy pot right here um, this is the case for the billy pot that I got from firebox so I love how they utilize the extra um, space here in the handle and then in here you can keep anything from your spices to um, I have my train geo burner in here right now but sometimes I have this filled up with my uh, tea and whatever I mean it's one really cool way to utilize space and then on the inside of the pot I usually just put my um, my food and stuff whenever I'm gonna be whatever I'm gonna be cooking so this is a different uh, <laughs> this is a really old pot that I'm having here if you look at it you'll see I have a leaf in it if you look at it you see I have the edges cut. The edges cut because the very first time I ever baked in this, I wanted to utilize everything that came with it. So that's how I did it. But let's make it some rice. Let's make in some rice. Let's get making some rice. English, Shane, English. Here we go with the firebox. it up like a book. Oh yeah. That's it. I kept the middle empty. Just take this fire starter. That's it. So you start off with two cups of water. And we'll bring it to a boil. As you can hear, it is definitely boiling. Yes. So, the way I do my rice is I do two cups of water, one cup of rice. And you can always increase that. So what I'll do is I will leave this stove to bring this rice back up to a boil. I'm gonna use my heavy cover spork as a pointer. So ideally, I would have put less wood in here, but sometimes old habits die hard. And I brought my water to a boil, but this is still a little bit too high to simmer on. So I'm gonna let this knock itself down just a little bit. I'm keeping the water hot right next to the stove. And uh, in about another two or three more minutes, we'll go ahead and just put this right back on there we will bring it to a simmer and we'll let it simmer until the coal burns out, which will be about, oh, maybe 10, 15 minutes. And the rice should be done. All right, that looks perfect. I'm gonna stick the rice right on top of there. 
We'll bring the rice right back up to a simmer. It already wants to go. So we'll bring the rice right back up to a simmer and let it cook out. You see down there those coals right now? That's what I'm looking for. It's only been about two minutes since I put that pot on and I'm gonna leave this pot on those coals for about 10 more minutes. And I'll show you the rice when we're done. Alrighty, so I let it burn down. Let's take a look at this rice. Boom. Perfect. And I still managed to cook a leaf with it. That's all good. So let's take a look at the rice, shall we? So I've got my little bowl here, my little dish. I'm gonna grab my spork. I'm just gonna go ahead and grab this rice. fluffy nice and fluffy and none sticking down there so there is my rice and I wanted my rice with some sardines so these are sardines in a tomato sauce I was walking by my garden and grabbed these peppers So if you like sardines, mm -hmm, which I do. So sometimes you can, uh, before you put your rice in the water, you can throw a little bit of butter, a little bit of salt in there. And usually I do that, but this round I decided to kind of just do this. And you can also do a uh, stickier rice, which is really good. But, looks good. Mm -hmm. That'll give you a kick. So good. So anyway, it's just a quick kind of how to do rice. Basically just <clears throat> load it up, bring it to a boil. You kind of got to get to know and feel the stove a little bit. So that way you know how long it's roughly going to burn. And just know those coals, they burn a lot hotter than a lot of people think, especially if you're using something like a zebra billy pot. All that heat is just really being focused one in one area. Just like cooking on top of your stove at home, guys. So thank you so much for kind of coming along and watching this quick video. And uh, we'll see you guys real soon in the next one. See ya.